All right, so welcome to a video that I'm calling the rise of McLaren, half a point, carbon fiber, turbo engines, and the closest F1 season of all time. I'm gonna go through the rise of McLaren and how it reached the pinnacle of Formula One and created such a legendary name for itself. So initially, McLaren was started by a guy called Bruce McLaren, and he was a New Zealand uh, uh, driver, Formula One driver, and he was around in the 60s, I believe it was created in 1963. Of course, like very legendary guy. In 1970, he was killed in an accident testing. After he died, it was taken over by a guy called Teddy Mayer. So other people as well, but I'm just going to say Teddy Mayer for the sake of this story. So the team went on into the 70s, and actually they did pretty good. They won the world championship in 1974 and 1976 with Emerson Fittipaldi and then James Hunt. Now James, they've changed the regulations concerning the air boxes and the wings, and yet you're still extremely fast. How do you do it? Big balls. <laughs> but as the 70s kind of went on, they began to falter and they weren't as good. And they were sponsored by Marlboro. And Marlboro started to kind of get impatient with the lack of results and they were getting a little antsy because obviously they wanted to have a winning team. At the same time, the sort of uh, famous, infamous Ron Dennis was had been coming up in Formula One for a long time. He was work had started working as a mechanic and blah, 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 blah. And he had proved himself to be, you know, very smart and savvy, under great understander of technology and how to wheel and deal with the sponsors. Basically what happened was he, Ron Dennis, had created his own company and he was competing in Formula Two and Formula Three, so the categories below Formula One. He had had a good relationship with Philip Morris, with Marlboro, because he had done some kind of sponsorship deals and things with them before as well. He started, to see, he started to see that McLaren was kind of in trouble, they were floundering, and at the same time, Philip Morris was looking to, you know, make the, you know, how can we help McLaren be better? Very easy. And I said, but you, you have to help. So they said, well, how do we help? I said, it's simple. You tell them if they don't sell me 50% of the company, you won't sponsor them. And so, I mean, it's a little bit crude to say that. It was a little more, it was more elegant, but that was the message. Ron Dennis, with the help of Philip Morris, bought his way into the McLaren team, and this was in 1980. 